Hey guys, welcome to Striker Bytes. Today I'm going to show you how to install Home Assistant on Docker using Portainer. For those of you who aren't familiar, Home Assistant is a free and open source piece of software that you can use as kind of like a dashboard for all of your smart devices. It competes with Samsung SmartThings and Apple HomeKit. Um, basically what it does is when you install it, it'll detect all of your smart right. devices and then it'll put them together in a nice dashboard for you. It's an extremely powerful piece of software that can be installed on something as easy and simple as a Raspberry Pi, which is actually what we're going to use today. Home Assistant has a pretty well maintained Docker image that we can pull right from the Docker Hub to install on our Docker host. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is log into Portainer. And we will click on containers to view our containers. To install Home Assistant, click Add Container. We're going to call this container Home Assistant. And the image is located at Home Assistant slash Home hyphen Assistant. We're not going to publish any network ports because this is going to use the host network. But we are going to add a couple volumes. I'm going to map the Home Assistant configuration folder to a folder that I created in my Pi Home folder. We'll bind it to slash config inside the container. The next volume we're going to add is slash etc slash local time. It's going to allow the container to sync the time with a local host. Now we'll click network. We're going to change the network from bridge mode to host. And then we will change our restart policy to unless stopped. And then we can click deploy container. This could take a while. Thanks to the magic of editing, Home Assistant's done being installed. We'll check the container logs to make sure everything initialized OK. And we will go to our Docker host IP address. And the main Home Assistant port number is port 8123. We'll create a test account here. We'll skip through this. And as you can see, it's already starting to detect my smart home devices. Click finish. And that should take us to the dashboard. Just a quick run through. You can click on configuration to get yourself started. Click on devices. Uh, click on integrations. And these are all the devices on your network that Home Assistant's already detected. So we'll click on Belkin Wemo. We'll set up my Wemo switches. And it detected all three of them. We'll click finish. And we'll go back to the dashboard. And there they are. You can toggle them on and off right from your dashboard. Let's go back to configuration. We'll click on integrations again. And as you can see, it detected the Roku TV in the living room. We'll click finish. And it's already showed up on the dashboard. We're watching Jeopardy in the living room, apparently. You can control your Roku device from the dashboard. I just shut it off. And if you click this button, you can see all the apps that you have available to you on your TV. We'll put it back the way it was. As you can see, you can also control the volume and view the history of the device when it was last turned on or when it was on standby. And that's basically it. That's a quick run through of how to get Home Assistant installed on Docker using Pertainer.
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If this helped you, please hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing. Thanks.